Whether your sights are set on a new career in wine or you're just looking to build confidence, a certification can help you along the way. And there are several certifications to choose from and your course experience, the knowledge you need, and the career paths that open up to you depend on the certification that you choose to pursue. Beyond what you learn, it's the recognition of having the credential that makes the difference. And for that reason, we'll focus on two of the most reputable, the Wine and Spirit Education Trust and the Court of Master Sommeliers. The Wine and Spirit Education Trust offers four levels of certification in wine. Level one, award in wines. Level two, award in wines. Level three, award in wines. And level four, diploma in wines. The Court of Master Sommeliers also offers four levels of certification. Introductory Sommelier, or CMS Intro, Certified Sommelier, or CMS Certified, Advanced Sommelier, or CMS Advanced, and Master Sommelier. This brings us to our first key difference between the two. The four certifications from the Court of Master Sommeliers center around the role of a sommelier and the pinnacle level of service that they provide. Earning one of these certifications means understanding the art of hospitality, how to serve wine, how to interact with guests. The Wine and Spirit Education Trust Awards focus more on theory, on winemaking, and on the business of wine. Where CMS exams test your knowledge of specific wines and specific producers, WSET exams test your ability to process a wide range of factors and draw conclusions. If you have career goals in hospitality or service, or if you love to host and entertain guests, then the CMS track could be right for you. If you see yourself working in wine behind the scenes as a wine buyer, a wine writer, a consultant, or an educator, then consider WSET. Both CMS and WSET certifications include a classroom component, but the key difference is how in-depth each one is. WSET classes are structured, thorough, well-paced, and overall a very helpful step towards the exam. On the other hand, CMS classes are notoriously fast-paced, they are condensed and overall intended to be a review of information that you are expected to already know. Of course, studying on your own is an important part of doing well in a WSET exam, especially with a recent shift to online learning. But with CMS, it is a core part of the experience. So take your learning style into consideration. If you see yourself working in hospitality someday, but you also learn better in a structured environment, then consider going through the WSET track before taking on CMS. Both WSET and CMS begin with a similar curriculum of core wine knowledge. Uh, key wine regions, key grape varieties, the influence of climate on wine style, etc. For example, a question like, what grape variety is most associated with the village of Nuit Saint-Georges, falls well within both the WSET and CMS curricula. But as you go on, they begin to diverge, and CMS begins to encompass more of the specific wine knowledge that's required in a service environment with questions like, name three grower producers from the Cote de Bar in Champagne, or what is the difference between a Lambic and a Flanders Red Ale? WSET goes deeper on wine production and business with questions that require broad knowledge and an ability to think deductively. As an example, you might be asked to describe the shift from bulk wine to quality wine production in Corsica by referencing history, indigenous varieties, and shifting market demand. Now onto the question of difficulty, which is harder, CMS or WSET? The four levels of WSET don't match up exactly with the four levels of CMS. In fact, WSET level one is considered the easiest of all, followed by WSET level two, then followed by CMS introductory sommelier. WSET level three comes next, followed by CMS certified. The WSET diploma exam is considerably more difficult than level three, it's divided into multiple sections, each with essays and tests, and includes a blind tasting component. But the leap in difficulty between CMS Certified and CMS Advanced is notorious. And in addition to the massive range of incredibly specific knowledge the exam requires, the rigorous two-day test makes it possibly harder than WSET Diploma. Now, depending on where you take it, WSET Level 1 costs around $250, Level 2 around $625, Level 3, 1100, and with a diploma, that jumps up to 5500. Now these prices include the course, the exam, and usually the various wines that you taste as part of the course. For CMS, the introductory course and exam together cost $750. The CMS certified exam, which does not include a course, costs around $310 to take. The advanced course and exam together cost 975. 
and to take the master exam, it's $1,000 for each attempt. CMS courses and exams are held only in certain cities, and these costs don't include travel expenses and accommodations, so keep that in mind. No matter which certification you choose to pursue, remember that all of us at TrueWine are here by your side along the way. In the TrueWine iOS app, you will find practice questions for several certifications, including CMS and WSET. And as always, please reach out with any questions that you have. We'll be happy to hear from you. Cheers to you.